All right. Please put your hands together next for a hometown favorite, Miss Dolly Corton. I'm gonna sit them titties down. All right, coming up next, you know him, you love him, Mr. Gene Simmons. Such a better use for that tongue. Up next, Mr. <laughs> Billy. I'm sorry, I got that. Hold up, hold up. Up next, the Ace of Spades himself. Lemmy. Mr. Billy Idol. Roy. Woo! <laughs> yeah, go, go to the MC. Coming up next, please welcome Mr. Phil <coughs> Collins. For that. All right, coming up next, the leather man himself, Mr. Rob Halford. Next, we have one of the tallest musicians in music. Please put your hands together for Slash. Yeah, yeah, ham it up. And now, the man of the hour. Let us welcome. for coming here to the pilot light here in Knoxville, Tennessee for the roast of Axel Rose. Please give this bastard a round of applause. Woo! For those of you who may not know me, I am Violent J from the Insane Clown Posse. I am very honored that they uh, asked me to come out to, uh, to join them. Originally, I was supposed to have been on the dais and I would think that maybe that they had accepted that Insane Clown Posse was such a paradigm shift in music. Yeah, I know paradigm shift, fuck you. Uh, but no, no, I got to come out and uh, host it. So uh, if, we, if we could please, I'd like to begin this night with a prayer. You bow your heads. Dear Dark Carnival, please give me the courage and the strength not to kill every motherfucker up on this <laughs> You know that I want to wear all their skins as a nice big royal cape. <laughs> but we gotta put that aside with us for right now. Give me that strength. I love you. All right. So yes, we're gonna be uh, roasting the man who uh, has, uh, has changed rock music uh, somehow at some point. 
<laughs> and making sure to uh, run him through the dirt as much as possible. So without any further ado, I want to go ahead and bring up a man who uh, I, I've, uh, I've uh, always res respected his music. Uh, I'm not... I think I, I think I, uh, please, please uh, ladies and gentlemen of the pile of light, put your hands together for Mr. David Byrne. You may ask yourself, what is David Byrne doing here? <laughs> David Byrne, everybody. What, what happened? I'm asking myself the same thing. It's okay. We're all we're all in a we're all in a state of confusion right now. Just take a minute. Take a moment. Just calm down. Thank you, thank you, Phil. That was that was necessary, Phil. Thank you, thank you. So uh, before we start bringing on some of the uh, some of the, the bigger names of rock to tear Axel a new one, we wanted to give uh, a bit of time to the little people. Uh, presumably, one gentleman who I'm pretty sure I have uh, slept with his daughter, uh, his wife, and his mother, and if not, uh, probably his grandmother too. Please put your hands together. For Mr. Steve Fillinger. I'm here, good citizens, because these people are bad for the children of America. It's a bunch of awful degenerates, except for Phil Collins. I mean, yeah, he made the mistake with Janice's, but we all know that was a big mess up. So, and just all these people are just the worst of American society, which is why I'm forming the Americans Against Rock Personas, or the AARP. <laughs> I mean, if you just look at this bunch, Gene Simmons with his whore paint. <laughs> My daughter tried to look like him one night and I was not standing for it. Courtney Love inspiring drug use among our poor children. When my daughter came up from a concert, she smelled like marijuana. I had to drink five martinis to get over it. <laughs> And Billy Idol with his unabashed leather and sexuality and just how can it not turn a poor innocent American man on oh, no, I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I know many people here see Dolly Parton as a ray of light amongst this human refuse, but she did not keep her body as a sacred temple. We all know she has silicon in her bountiful bosoms. And, of course, Mr. Axel, the man of our hour. We all know that welcome to the jungle, for my son at least, was really just welcome to your genitals. He explored himself everywhere. I had to hit him so he wouldn't become a violent degenerate when he grew up. <laughs> I think, really, that none of these people are what we want our future to be. And so as Americans, I implore you to shoot down these poor husks of people and live a good life. Thank you, and may God bless. Fucking <laughs> 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 scary bitch. Well, there we go. Uh, Steve Fillinger, everybody. Yep, he got his piece. <sighs> I want to say, uh, want to say a few things about our next, our next, uh, our next two uh, performers coming to the dais. Uh, for one, uh, Miss Courtney Love. Uh, at some point, I will kill you. 
Uh, I'm thinking that I want to, to take her skin and make a lampshade from it. I think I could work wonders with the track marks. <laughs> Mr. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. He blew his brains out because he did not want to be the voice of his generation. Funny thing, Kurt. <laughs> kind of made yourself the calling card for the 80s. So, please welcome Miss Kurt, Mr. Kurt Cobain and Miss Courtney Love. <laughs> You fucking kill me. <laughs> Violet J is here. Let's hear it one more time for Violet J, everybody. He's here because we need somebody more white trash than Axl Rose. <laughs> Violet J, you put the gay in John Wayne Gacy. 